So welcome everyone and thank you so much for your interest in this program. Welcome to the 2023 Summer Company Information Session. Thank you for your time. And of course, greetings also to the people watching this video, the people in the future. Um, my name is Colleen Snell. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm the artistic director and co-founder of Frog in Hand. This presentation was created in collaboration with Jessica Sen, um, whose pronouns are she, her, and Jessica is the business manager of Frog in Hand. Jessica is also a past 2019 and 2020 summer company member, um, and she was the production assistant. She is now joining us in a role um, that's full time, but she started in the summer company. Um, so for the people who are um, with me in the Zoom session, um, when we get to the q and A, I'm sure that you'll have lots of questions for Jessica. So let's begin with a land acknowledgement. I speak to you today from Treaty 13A territory. I'm privileged to work, live and play on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabek, Haudenosaunee and Wendat peoples. This territory is included in the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant um, you may have heard of it. It's an agreement to peaceably share and care for the land and its resources. As a Canadian, I understand the standard of living we enjoy here is a result of thousands of years of stewardship by the original inhabitants and the inequitable taking of the land from them. I acknowledge that in order to have reconciliation, we must first understand truth. I commit to move forward in an effort to achieve both. And my background, I'm a settler um, from Welsh, Ukrainian and English roots. And of course, my heritage is only one piece of the tapestry that is Frog in Hand. Frog in Hand is a collective of artists with diverse backgrounds and histories, heritages and family stories of their own. And we are all treaty people. Every day we are mindful of broken covenants and we strive to make this right. We, are, we commit to collaboration based on the foundational assumption that Indigenous peoples have the power, strength, and competency to develop culturally specific strategies for their communities. We are dedicated to honoring Indigenous self-determination, history, and culture, and are committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation and respect with all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people. Thank you for joining us. So let me tell you a little bit about Frog in Hand. Of course, Frog in Hand is a dance theater company. We're based in Mississauga, Ontario, and our mission is to uncover, make and share stories through dance. We contribute to community by sharing resources, knowledge and experience through creation, performance and education. When I say education, we also sometimes use the term wisdom exchange. We carefully attend to what we make and how we make it. We craft innovative work reflecting our passion for movement as a medium to transcend language. We're committed to engaging spaces in ways that recognize and honor diverse stories and storytellers. We create site-specific experiences as platforms for artistic exchange, collaboration, and social change. And what does that actually look like? Well, it can look like dancers rehearsing in a field. It can look like performers on stilts walking through a parking lot at night. It can look like parades through the streets or improvisation classes under under willow trees in the park. Of course, recently Frog in Hand received funding to build our own creative space, which is going to be a repurposed geodesic dome that will be a hub for the arts in our neighborhood. We call it the art shelter and it's expected to open in June 2023 during the course of the 2023 summer company. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There's more on that to come. First, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. So in this session, our agenda is to first go over some eligibility requirements for this program. We'll talk about what the summer company is, what it aspires to do, We'll go through a kind of sample day in the life where you'll get a, a sample schedule of uh, what 
one of the days of the week could look like if you were in this program as a dancer. Um, we will also talk about the program plan. Also, that means the, um, the summer season. What are the activities? Um, it's very much like a buffet, right? Of many courses through the, through the summer. So we'll talk about the, the kind of, you know, meal that we're looking forward to. We'll also talk about the not so exciting pragmatic details like the schedule, the work week, the hours you can expect, the start date and end date, the pay, how it works, what kind of contract it is. We will touch on auditions, um, the process, but also what we're looking for, some of our you know, criteria. And then we'll have time for a Q&A. We'll share with you ways that you can follow up if and when you have questions. And um, we're also going to, to remind you a few times of the submission deadline. Around 8 p.m., we are going to open the floor to your questions, and we're going to let you know how you can follow up with us, right? So um, if you're watching this video and you cannot participate in the discussion because we're going to stop recording at that point, um, we can do that through email. I'm curious for the people who are here present um, in the Zoom session, if you can drop into the chat, if you're interested in a production role or a dancer role, just so that we can already have that in our mind as we go forward. First, we're gonna talk about eligibility. So in order to be eligible, these are the things that have to be um, present for each summer company participant. You've got to be under 30 at the start of employment, which is in May 2023. You have to be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident or a person to whom refugee protection has been conferred. You have to have a valid SIN number, which means you have to be legally entitled to work in Canada. And Frog in Hand adds this criteria of you need to be fully vaccinated because we're going to be dancing in close quarters, working together. Um, so a lot of this list, one, two, and three, those come from our funder, not from Frog in Hand. So the summer company and the Canada Summer Jobs Programs are aimed at creating jobs for youth. So if you're not eligible, we would still love to meet you. Please reach out by email. And remember, we are also looking for an arts shelter activation coordinator right now for the arts shelter and other um, art shelter related work is going to be coming up. We're always looking for volunteers. But if you are not one of those Four, sorry, one of those three things, um, we cannot hire you. Um, this being said about number four, being fully vaccinated, Frog in Hand does expect all dancers to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19. Uh, we understand we're beginning to emerge into a post-pandemic world and we're all finding our way through that process. Um, it's just because we work so closely, we wanna keep, um, keep these measures so we can protect everyone. So the term fully vaccinated it is determined by the Ontario Ministry of Health. Uh, proof of vaccination might be requested and any health information you disclose to our team is going to be treated with respect and will remain confidential. Um, we, we do require the company dancers to adhere to a masking policy um, and remain home if they feel unwell. So it's the kind of thing we've been living with for the last little while. If you get exposed to COVID, you know, you stay home if you have symptoms or you wear a mask. So. This is a little bit about the Canada Summer Jobs, um, you know, the, the main funder of the summer company. So it's an initiative um, from the federal government, and it aims to help young Canadians develop skills in their own industry, um, gain paid work experience, and transition from being a student to being part of the labor market. But for us, what that means is it's trying to create a, a bridge for artists for the arts community. Um, it's on the job training, but it's also an opportunity to work uh, at, with, alongside professionals with professional standards. And I think just speaking personally for me over the last few years, um, it's about creating space so that new generation artists can just go and do the work that they know how to do. Um, it's, it's, 
it's very different in that way um, from a summer intensive, for instance, because it sort of says you have the skills already to do what it is you're doing. There is training, but we're mostly just trying to get you out there building a resume and doing the work because the quality of um, the young artists we have met over the last few years has just been absolutely exceptional. So it's really about connecting people to opportunities and making work happen. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what this program has looked like in the past. So I'm going to start um, with, in general, it's a, a as I said, a training initiative. Um, it's generally nine weeks. It's about supporting emerging artists. It is GTA based um, and it is our response to the challenge of youth unemployment. Um, it's an investment in the future of the arts. It's about um, connecting across the GTA to create new work, remount repertoire, gain professional performance experience, lead educational programs and outreach of different kinds, um, and be paid to train in artistic forms you might otherwise not have encountered. So those things might include um, stage combat or physical theater, clown work, um, acting. So all of this, is really exciting. Um, we, we do have to say that the summer company employment, all of this opportunity is in, contingent on funding. So we have to get that Canada Summer Jobs grant in order for the program to run. And this funding will be confirmed in April, 2023 or any day now. Uh, so cross your fingers. I say this, but we have received funding for the last five years. And so um, we expect to receive funding again, which is why we're moving forward. So here are some examples from work from past summer companies. So yeah, this is the photo from 2019. Um, and uh, this was our show called Heart of Matter at Trinity St. Paul's United Church again. And it was a really beautiful piece. Um, all of the summer company members were there. They're all in that picture. And they worked with Callahan Connor, who um, is a professional musician and spoken word poet. So this piece, um, did involve a lot of uh, storytelling. And yeah, uh, Mika Balk Baltman there was the summer company rehearsal director. So um, in 2020, here's the still, these are the stills uh, from our project called Lifers. So Lifers was a dance film that we made and that was part of the digital fringe. Um, but of course we also were doing audio projects and um, we did a touring pop-up um, intervention that was called Cyclops in collaboration with Clay and Paper Theatre. And um, that's when we were just bringing joy to the neighborhood and, and walking through our, our neighborhoods and doing pop-up interventions of dance and music and clowning. Um, in 2021, our summer company came together to remount a piece called Stories in the Woods, which is an outdoor site-specific promenade style science fiction dance work. And they were um, integral, integral members of the, of the cast. And again, they worked beside um, professional artists in the field to, to take on characters and to tell the story. Um, and then last year, we did War of the Worlds Reimagined, which was a performance we did in a, um, essentially a skating rink in the summertime. So there was no ice. So it was just a big arena. And some uh, those were images from our rehearsal process. And here are some images from the show. So um, yes, yeah, some of the professional artists were Rebecca Diab, Alice Cavanaugh, Ryan Lee, Suli Malahib Prue, Clark Blair. Um, yeah. So that was a full length uh, site specific performance. And that was, again, only one of a number of different kinds of things that they were doing. But that's probably the biggest one because it was a full length show. So we're going to share a sample now of a sample day in the life of a summer company dancer. So first of all, the 2023 summer company is going to be in person in Mississauga. Um, and on screen there, you see a sample schedule for a typical day. This will involve some, some time in the studio, some time outside, 
we love to work outside whenever the weather is good. There are a number of reasons for that. It, it's something that came um, during pandemic times, but uh, it's also something that we're choosing to continue because we feel like it makes our work more visible to our community um, and it invites interruption. It shares our work in public spaces and um, yeah, it's just, it's enjoy enjoyable um, when the weather's good. So usually we kind of travel to Mississauga, we arrive, we take a moment for a warm up class um, that could be anything from improvisation based um, contemporary dance techniques, or it could be more of a sort of stretching and strengthening re regime. Um, it could also be something that's led by our guest artists or rehearsal director, Alice Kavanaugh. Um, just whatever we need to prepare for the day. Then we do a morning slot. So it could be something like I said, clowning, that that would be um, a, a physical theater piece that has dance in it. Um, that's very lighthearted and based in joy. Uh, and then we would have lunch and we'd come back and we would do something different in the afternoon because the days are quite long. So we like to change it up halfway through the day. So then we might rehearse for something like um, War of the Worlds Reimagined, for instance, last year. So we had a very fun, lighthearted piece. And then we had a more conceptual uh, contemporary dance uh, piece. And yeah, we usually have a reflection to close off the day. Um, just sort of taking the time for all of the intensity to to settle in. And yeah, um, you get to have guest artists and professional folks pop into those rehearsals and you work alongside them. So for the past two summer companies, we had a four day work week and it worked really well to allow folks more time off to actually rest. And we typically run the company Wednesday to Saturday, which we're again intending for 2023. Um, yeah, let's talk about what we've got planned for 2023. Keep in mind, these are plans that we're sharing with you. They are subject to change. So the first thing is Frog in Hand has Canada Council and Ontario Arts Council funding to do a new full length dance theater piece, just like War of the Worlds Reimagined, except this year it's called Noir and it's going to be a piece that is inspired by film noir. Um, so we're going to get ready for that. There will be 12 performances in July. There will be a very exciting clowning uh, based project with Andrew Gabry, who has been part of the summer company and has led clown based physical theater pieces with music and puppetry since um, 2020, I believe, if not before then. So he has now uh, about a 45 minute piece that he's creating and it's called Pastel's Imaginarium. Pastel's Imaginarium is going to appear at the WE Festival, which is for very young audiences in Toronto, um, at local parks in Mississauga. Um, and it will be at the Bread and Honey Festival um, in Streetsville. We're also incredibly privileged. We've been invited to um, participate uh, in a project called Walk with Them All, which is being produced by the Luminato Festival. And that project was created by the British production company, um, the, the Walk Productions and Good Chance in collaboration with the South African company Handspring Puppet Company, and they created um, the War Horse Puppets. So what you're seeing there is um, three puppeteers leading the walk with Amal. Amal is this incredible girl, um, and she's going to be walking all through um, Ontario in as part of the Luminato programming. So we are welcoming Amal and this beautiful um, puppetry project to Mississauga. So that's another thing we're going to be doing. Um, of course, we have training as well. We have morning classes. We uh, train in site-specific work, character creation, improvisation, partnering, um, acting as well. And uh, we do repertoire. We're, we're contemporary dance-based companies. So our movement is generally based on limon and release technique. Um, but it's, again, whatever we need to prepare for the day. We do outreach, uh, meaning we are integrated with our community. And what's exciting is that the art shelter is going to be built during this time. So as soon as it's ready, we're gonna be moving into it. And we will be connecting to the community in that Lakeview, Mississauga um, neighborhood. Um, 
past examples of some of the training that we have done have been more flying low uh, technique, musical theater, puppetry, clown, um, improvisation like Gaga technique with Alvin Calantes, who's a longtime collaborator of ours, fighting monkey technique. Um, and then the summer company often um, helps to support the production. So you might be helping us to make um, props and that kind of thing. If you are applying for a production company um, position, then you would be really involved in making props and set and costumes and um, getting ready to run shows. Um, we also do stage combat fairly regularly. That's looked like um, quarter staff, which are the long sticks. Um, and sometimes we have done unarmed stage combat. We're expecting stage combat to be a big part of our program this year because film noir obviously has some fighting in it. Um, I'm a, an advanced actor combatant with Fight Directors Canada, and so is Alice Cavanaugh, our rehearsal director. Uh, so this is something we really like to offer because uh, dancers are generally quite excellent at it, and it's a fun thing to do to get us ready to tell really clear stories in a physical way. So that's the really fun stuff. This is not quite as exciting, but it's still important, the pragmatic stuff. So we pay Ontario's minimum wage for the dancer roles. It's generally 30 hours per week, which is a sort of a nine or 10 to four or five. So it's all, it is a long day, but there is always an hour break when we break as needed as well, especially if it gets really hot. We are going to start in May and end in July. Our start date has not been confirmed, but we're working on it with our funder. This contract is a seasonal employment contract. So that means you go on payroll and you are actually an employee of the company for the time that you are working in the summer company. So you're not independent contractors. What that means is um, it's just like any kind of a summer job that you might do at like a coffee shop or a grocery store. Um, and you, know, you, you get EI and CPP uh, vacation pay, that kind of thing. That's the, the biggest difference. Um, everything is located in Mississauga Port Credit, generally, and Lakeview, which is near to nearer to the Long Branch side of things, that's where our art shelter is going to be. You do need to be able to travel. Um, in the past, we have done a lot of uh, tr trying to make this manageable for people because it's something that a lot of um, summer company members take time to adjust to that that transit. Um, you can either carpool with people depending on you know availability of cars and so forth or you take the go train luckily um everything is very close to either port credit go station or or long branch and like i said you get three days off four days on we work wednesday to saturday and there are only two sundays in the entire um you know summer company that we expect to to have to do a little bit of work and that's because there are performances on weekends um those are our funders over there on the other column um so we're supported by a number of different kinds of organizations and we're very grateful for their support let's talk auditions so you can find everything you need on our website um, there is a form up there right now. It's a Google form and it asks you to submit a headshot, uh, a cover letter if you want to. That's your opportunity to tell us, you know, a little bit about yourself, maybe why you want to join the summer company, what you think you could get out of it, what you would offer as a participant. There's space for a, a short resume, only two pages. We're encouraging people to try to just give us highlights. And then, of course, footage of you dancing. We ask for YouTube or video links only. No Dropbox, no WeTransfer, just YouTube or video, um, uh, Vimeo. If there's a password, please remember to identify what that is and, and let us know because we want to see your stuff. Um, and yeah, all of that is just through a Google form. Um, if you are successful, so that's we're doing like this online submission process. We're going to select candidates to come to an in-person callback. Um, April 15th in Toronto. And it's going to be a two hour audition, either three till five or uh, six to eight. And there's time in there again for some conversation and for this to be a, a chance to get to know each other. 
if you're sick, yeah, we, we recommend you don't attend and just contact us to make suitable arrangements. So we know that things are, are a bit of a, a challenge. And again, sometimes we're, we're still learning post COVID just for that in-person uh, in audition. Submissions for all sum summer company positions are due this Monday, April 3rd at 5 p.m. And if we can make this application process more accessible to you, if there's something you need, please let us know. Um, we are going to drop the link for all the info. If it's not there already, it's going to be there in the chat. And now we're going to just talk a little bit about what we're looking for in a summer company member. So we're seeking people with exceptional dance ability. That means their technique, but also their dynamic range. Can they, can they express a number of different qualities of movement. Um, we are nonverbal storytellers, so we're looking for like-minded individuals who are interested in creating um, stories that have characters and relationships um, that have stakes, stories with stakes that, that you know, it feels like there's a, a reason or an, an urgency and an immediacy to the storytelling. Um, but you don't have to be an actor by any means. Um, some experience in, in, in acting would help you, but it's mostly about how to tell stories through dance. Um, we are seeking people who have an interest to work within community settings because we are placemakers. What that means is we proudly identify as being Port Credit Mississauga based, and we work here and we work in public spaces and we make things happen in site specific settings so um, we're looking for people who want to do that we are casting for specific repertoire which has already been set so we're looking for um, you know groups of people who can become a strong team who will work well together over the intense time and also who can divide and conquer in terms of the work that we've got we collaborate so we need to find people who again, also like to work that way. That means dancers with ideas who are excited to share those ideas with us. People with listening skills, empathy, and a care-centered, human-centered approach. Um, we, of course, are seeking diverse voices, and um, we do prioritize people with a Mississauga-based, because we're a Mississauga-funded and we are a Mississauga-based um, company. And of course, yes, we, we prioritize uh, BIPOC artists. So since you registered for this session, um, we are going to add you, with your permission, everyone who's live on this call, to our MailChimp mailing list so that it's super easy to keep in touch with you and you can opt out at any time. You can unsubscribe at any time. We hardly ever send mail uh, through our mailing list, maybe three times a year. So we promise not to spam you. You can take this QR code here and it will, um, if you take a photo of that with your phone, it will lead you to our link tree, which all of the information on the summer company um, audition page is there, our website, our Instagram, Facebook, and so forth. And the recording of this session is going to be posted on our YouTube channel. So if you need to go back to anything we discussed today, you can do that. Um, please email your submissions and questions to jessica at froginhand at gmail.com. That's Jessica Sen at froginhand at gmail.com. Um, and again, the submissions are due through our website. You go to the Google form and you send everything in by this Monday, April 3rd, 2023 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to either watch the recording of this video or to join us today by by zoom. Um, it means a lot to get to know new artists and um, please be sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date. So I'm going to tell everyone watching the video to please stay safe and take care. We're going to go into a Q&A session now. Um, which we are going to stop the recording for, and we're going to open the floor to questions. This being said, people watching the recording, please feel free to reach out to us to let us know what you're thinking and um, yeah, let us know how we can help you out.
We look forward to meeting you.